Hi judges! Welcome to another segment of One Our Liwag Memorial High School Senior High School Math TV. And for today's video lesson, we will discuss the binomial theorem. Last time, we were able to discuss some methods or some ways in which we could expand a binomial using Pascal triangle and combination. And for today, we will be discussing the main purpose of the binomial theorem for binomial expansion. So what is the binomial theorem or what is the formula in binomial theorem? So for any positive integer n, the expansion of a plus b raised to n is this one. It is the summation of the combination n i times a raised to n minus i times b raised to i, i is equal to, from i is equal to 0 up to n. So always remember that that n is the exponent of the binomial and that is the ending point or the stopping point or the upper limit so always remember that i is the starting point and this is always equal to zero if we are expanding for example if n is equal to three always remember that there will be four terms so there will be four terms and how do we know the values of i and it becomes i is equal to zero one two Three. Therefore, how many terms do we have? One, two, three, four. Okay, and in combination, it becomes three, zero, three, one, three, two, and three, three. Therefore, we'll be having one, two, three, four, four terms. And all the values below would be the values of i. Okay, so what if you're asked to get the second term? For the second term, this is our second term. And remember that i is equal to 1 for second term. Is that clear? So what if you're asked to get the third term? For the third term, i is equal to 2. Since we are starting with 0, therefore 0 is counted as the first term, 1 is counted as the second term, and 2 is counted as the third term. So, that is how we expand a binomial using the binomial theorem. So, let's now have here an example. We're asked to expand a plus b raised to 3. Okay, in this case, all we have to do is to identify first the value of n. And what is the value of n for this one? Very good. n is equal to 3. And if n is equal to 3, how many terms do we have? Yes. We have four terms. And what are the values of i? Very good. That would be i is equal to 0, 1, 2, and 3. So th these are the values of i. So let us now get the formula for the binomial theorem. Since n is equal to 3, let's write 3 here. And we will be starting with i is equal to 0. And then the combination ni... Therefore, that is 3 up to i. And then we'll be getting the value, the value of the first and the uh, first and the second term for this one. That is a plus b. Therefore, this is a raised to 3 minus i times b raised to i. And what is now the expansion? Okay, if we will be expanding this summation notation, this becomes 3, 0, combination of 3, 0 a raised to 3 minus 0, since this is our combination, b raised to 0, plus 3, what? Very good, that is 3, 1. a raised to 3 minus 1, because we are referring to this combination, b raised to, yes, that is b raised to 1, plus 3, 2, and it becomes a raised to 3 minus 2, b raised to 2, and for the last term, we'll be having 3, 3, and that is a, a raised to 3 minus 3, b raised to 3. So how many terms do we have again? 1, 2, 3, 4. We'll now be having 4 terms. So how do we solve now for the combination? Actually, you could use your calculators in order for you to get the combination, or you could use your Pascal triangle in order for you to get the three combination of zero. But then, for this one, let us try to use the formula. And the formula co for combination is 
For example, ncr, therefore that is n factorial over r factorial times n minus r factorial. Okay, this is our n, this is our r, or this is our n, or that is our k. Okay, so let us now try to solve for this one. Therefore, this becomes 3 factorial over r factorial, which is 0 factorial. And always remember that 0 factorial is equal to? Very good, that is equal to 1. That is n minus r, 3 minus 0. This is 3 minus 0 factorial. Okay, so I will just be using this for the first one. And for the succeeding terms, I will just use my calculator to solve for the combination. Okay, and this is now equal to a raised to 3. b raised to 0 is just 1, right? So this is just a cubed plus 3c1. Type that in your calculator or use your Pascal triangle and it will give us an answer of 3. a raised to 3 minus 1 is 2. b raised to 1 plus 3c2. 3c2 is 3. a raised to 3 minus 2, that is 1 b squared and the last term is 3c3 what is 3c3 3c3 is just 1 times a raised to 0 b cubed and always remember that a raised to 0 is just 1 3 okay let us now try to simplify this combination 3 factorial is 3 to 1 3 times 2 times 1 over 0 factorial which is 1 times 3 minus 0 is 3 factorial, that is 3 times 2 times 1. Cancel, cancel. Therefore, what is the answer for this one? It is now equal to 1. Okay. Therefore, if this is equal to 1, 1 times a cube, our answer now would be a cube plus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared plus b cube. And this is now the expansion of a plus b quantity raised to 3. So, how do we know if our answer is correct? By counting or by adding the exponents of each term. 3, n is equal to 3. 2 plus 1, 3. 1 plus 2, 3. 3, 3. Therefore, this will now be the expansion of a plus b raised to 3. Is this clear? Very good. So let's have another example. For the second example, we are now given expand x plus y quantity raised to 6. Somehow it is much longer than the first example. So in this case, so we could say that n is equal to 6. And if n is equal to 6, how many terms do we have? Yes, we'll be having 7 terms. And if you have 7 terms, Okay, we're, what are the values of i? The values of i now would be Very good, that is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 Okay, so let us now write the formula For the binomial expansion, binomial theorem That is now the summation of ni Therefore, that is 6i not anymore a since we have here x and y this becomes x raised to 6 minus i y raised to i from i is equal to 0 up to 6 okay so let us now try to evaluate or expand the summation and this becomes 6 0 x raised to 6 minus 0 y raised to 0 plus 6, 1, x raised to 6 minus 1, y raised to 1, plus 6, 2, x raised to 6 minus 2, y raised to 2, plus 6, 3, x raised to 6 minus 3, y raised to 3, okay, plus 6, 4, x raised to 6 minus 4, y raised to 4, plus 6, 5, x raised to 6 minus 5, y raised to 5, and the last term is 6, 6, x raised to 6 minus 6, y raised to 6. So this will be the expansion of this summation notation. So let us now try to simplify. And in simplifying, 6, 0, 
Type that in your calculator or use your Pascal triangle and it will give us an answer of 1. X raised to 6. Y raised to 0 is just 1. Plus 6C1. What is 6C1? Use your calculator. That becomes 6. X raised to 5 times Y. Plus 6C2. So what is our 6C2? Very good. That is 15. 15x raised to 4, y squared, plus 6c3. What is our 6c3? 6c3 is, okay, that is 20. x, 6 minus 3 is 3, y cubed, plus 6c4, very good, that is 15. x raised to 2, y raised to 4. Plus, 6C5. What is our 6C5? Our 6C5 is 6. X raised to 1. Y raised to 5. And the last term now is 6C6. That is just 1. Times X raised to 0. Y raised to 6. So, let us now write the answer. Therefore, this becomes X raised to 6 plus 6X raised to 5 times Y plus 15 times x raised to 4, y squared, plus 20x cubed, y cubed, plus 15x squared, y raised to 4, plus 6x, y raised to 5, plus 1 times x raised to 0, this is just 1, y raised to 6. And this will be the expansion of the binomial x plus y quantity raised to 6. So let's try to know if our answer is correct by adding the exponents. 6, 6, 5 plus 1, 6, 4 plus 2, 6, 3 plus 3, 6, 2 plus 4, 6, 1 plus 5, 6, 6, 6, 1, 6, 15, 20, 15, 6, 1. And you can get it using your Pascal triangle or by just typing the combination using your calculators. What if we're now asked to expand a binomial containing numbers and coefficients. Okay, so last time we were just, um, last examples, we were only given variables to expand. What if it now contains a number and different sign, like negative? Okay, is the process still the same? Let's find out, okay? So, we're now asked to expand 2m minus 3 quantity raised to 5. If we're given this one, let us first write n is equal to 5. And if n is equal to 5, how many terms do we have? Correct. We have 6 terms. And what are the values of i? i would be, for the first term, 0. For the second term, 1. For the third term, 2. For the fourth term, 3. For the fifth term, 4. 4, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and for the 6th term, we have 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Therefore, we'll be having 6 terms. Okay, so let us now use the formula for binomial theorem. And the formula now would be the summation of ni, which is 5i, a our A is this one, and our B is this one. Therefore, that is 2M raised to 5 minus I times negative 3 raised to I. Okay, and this is from I is equal to 0 up to 5. Okay, so let us now try to expand. And in expanding, we'll now be getting what? We'll now be getting, for the first one, that is 5, 0. That is 2m raised to 5 minus 0. And we'll now be getting negative 3 raised to 0 plus 5, 1. 2m raised to 5 minus 1 times negative 3 raised to 1 plus 5, 2. 2m raised to 5 minus 2 times negative 3 raised to 2 plus 5, 3, 
will be getting 2m raised to 5, that is raised to 5 minus 3, times negative 3 raised to 3, okay, plus 5, 4, times 2m raised to 5 minus 4 times negative 3 raised to 4. And the last term is 5, 5 times 2m raised to 5 minus 5 times negative 3 raised to 0. Okay, so the combinations, just use your calculator or use the Pascal triangle. 5c0 will give us an answer of, what is 5c0? Very good, that is 1 raised to 2m raised to 5 minus 0, which is just equal to 2m raised to 5. Negative 3 raised to 0 will just be equal to 1. 5c1, what is 5c1 plus 5c1 is just 5. Multiply this to 2m raised to 5 minus 1 is 4. Negative 3 raised to 1 is just negative 3. Plus 5c2, what is our 5c2? That is 10 times. 2m raised to 5 minus 2, which is 3. Negative 3 squared, that is, what is negative 3 squared? Very good, that is positive 9. Plus, 5c3, what is our 5c3? We'll be getting 10 for 5c3. 2m raised to 5 minus 3, which is 2. And then, negative 3 cube, what is our negative 3 cube? That is negative 27. Plus, 5c4, Therefore, we'll be getting what is our 5C4. Our 5C4 now will be 5 times 2M raised to 5 minus 4, which is 1. Negative 3 raised to 4 is, what is negative 3 raised to 4? That is positive 81. And for the last term, that is now plus 1 times 2M raised to 0. This should be negative 3 raised to 5. I'm sorry, this should be negative 3 raised to 5. The last term for this one should be negative 3 raised to 5. 1 times 2m raised to 0 and we'll be getting times negative 3 raised to 5. And what is negative 3 raised to 5? That is negative 243. Okay, so let us now try to simplify. So in simplifying, we'll now be getting 2 raised to 5 is 32. Therefore, this becomes 32m raised to 5. Plus, 2 raised to 4 is 16. 5 times negative 3 is negative 15. Negative 15 times 16. Therefore, that is negative 240m raised to 4. Okay. Plus, 9 times 10 is 90. 2 cubed is 8. 90 times 8 is 720 m cubed. This is negative 27. This is 10. Therefore, we'll be getting negative 270. Negative 270 times 2 m raised to 2. Therefore, this is 4. 4 times negative 200. 4 times negative 270 will be negative 1080 m squared. Plus. 81 times 5 times 2 is 810. Therefore, that is 810m. And the last term now, 1 times 2m raised to 0 is just 1. And that is negative 243. So that is negative 243. And this will now be the final answer for the expansion of 2m minus 3 quantity raised to 5. Again, do not forget that the last term is... The the exponent of um, this one okay so remember that the first term will contain decreasing exponents while for the last term it will be having increasing exponents and um, it will start with zero so that is how we expand using binomial theorem if you have comments if you have suggestions and if you have clarifications do not hesitate to message me on my Facebook account, John Edward Hernandez, my Instagram account, and on my Twitter account. Once again, I am Engineer John Edward Hernandez saying that mathematics is always fun. Goodbye and God bless.